there was a conflict that came up and I just signed a big deal, a partnership for my company, and they invited me out to Mexico. And with my business, I work with uh, small to medium sized businesses doing tax credits. And this specific conference was to introduce me and my business to 200 of the top affiliate marketers in the country. So literally this one event and going there and speaking to everybody has the potential to double the revenue of my company over the next year. And really, I couldn't risk not going to that to go to the reunion, unfortunately. I don't regret not going, to to, to be honest. Obviously, I would have wanted to, to, to be there to address certain things in person. But I also do think, number one, you know, having something I feel was a little bit more important for me to do. And number two, the reunion maybe not being the most productive place to have certain conversations, I definitely don't regret not going. With the edit, it's it's kind of strange. You know, I, I understand trying to make a villain or whatever, and that makes for, for good television. But something that I really can't respect is when you, you know, put a put a sound bite over my mouth and make it seem like I'm saying things that I'm not. That to me is a little bit unacceptable. And also just as a person and developing my character and editing out conversations, for example, if I'm having a conversation with somebody and you make it seem like I'm doing all the talking because when somebody responds, you cut that out and you just make it seem like I'm going on and on and attacking somebody, that's also deceptive. And it's also wrong not to develop my character and show any of the good sides of me as well and just focus on that drama. So I didn't like the way the edit was, you know, it is what it is. I did, you know, say some things that I'm not proud of. I did act in certain situations that I wasn't proud of. But at the end of the day, I think the edit really made it a lot worse than it actually was in reality. I think the the biggest thing is um, Aaliyah's comment of, why we didn't work out in the relationship and the whole I just wasn't attracted to her I, I that that was not that was not true and I think that there was a lot of reasons that our relationship didn't work out but the chief reason among that was just our communication and getting past what had happened I think in the back of my head I wanted to forgive her for what went down and you know her leaving but Afterwards, I think that we still kept on going back and forth about that situation. And it really caused a lot of friction between us. And, you know, that's why we didn't work out in a relationship. It had nothing to do with the way she looks. I think she's a beautiful girl. I was attracted to her, but we didn't go to Love is Blind to find our certain type or, you know, find the most attractive person. We could have went on dating apps to do that. So I was completely open to a relationship with her. I really thought we were on good terms because we had some communication and before the show aired, Aliyah had reached out to me and she said, hey, you know, I'm just going to take the high road with everything. I'm not going to speak negatively about anybody. I'm not going to throw Lydia under the bus. I'm not going to throw you under the bus. So we had that line of communication open even after the show aired and we saw that whole situation with the infidelity discussion. She reached out to me and she said, hey, I know they edited out a lot of the context, but please don't go out and tell people what actually happened and all of the, you know, context behind my cheating. That's my story. You know, let me throw that story. Uh, let me tell that story. Don't throw me under the bus because dragging me down is not going to make you look better. So I said, OK, I'm not going to tell anybody about that. And then I think kind of the the comments she was reading online started to get to her a little bit people are very nasty on the internet people were saying oh you were being dramatic and sliding down a wall and fake crying and you had no backbone with Lydia so I think she felt attacked and the best way to divert that attention was to say oh well Uche was mean to me and he said that I wasn't his type and you know that will bring people on your side if you can get that sympathy and now all of the comments are just like oh you're beautiful don't worry about it that guy's a jerk so i think that was her strategy and she started off taking the high road and then those comments got to her and then you know that that's why she did what she did in my opinion i know i'm not perfect <laughs> i did a whole lot of things that i regret that i wish i would have done better but you know i try to apologize for that and i try to correct that like i did in the pods I feel like when she does something wrong, she more 
tries to justify it. Hey, you know, I know I left, but you know, that was Lydia. She said something that was that was wrong to me. So I had to get out of there. Yeah, I know in my previous relationship, I cheated, but it was a bad relationship. And my boyfriend had cheated on me and the sex wasn't good. So, you know, th that's the that's the reason that it happened. And, you know, in, in our relationship, it didn't work out because, yeah, you just weren't attracted to me. So that's what it is. She's never said anything at all for any relationship that she's been in of what she's actually done wrong or what she can improve on. To be fair to Milton, we weren't friends, you know, so that part uh, was true. You know, we had talked uh, in the pods. I thought we were cordial in the pods. Um, but I thought we did have the opportunity to develop a friendship outside of the pods. He had made some statements to me. He said, Hey, you know, you remind me just, uh, you remind me of my sister. You know, his sister is also a lawyer. We saw, uh, in the show how hard, uh, she was on him. He said, Oh, you, you kind of remind me of my sister. I feel like you could be like a big brother to me or something like that. And so, I kind of took that to heart and I was like, okay, you know, we could put, put potentially have a friendship outside of this. And then of course he got engaged to Lydia and obviously with the, you know, the conflict me and Lydia were going through, that was impossible for me and Milton to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. Now, what I don't appreciate is, you know, because I didn't show up, I felt like he was able to say certain things that he wouldn't have said to my face. For example, the whole thing that we didn't have any type of communication or conversation, you know, leading up to the wedding, and I just texted him out of the blue, that was false. You know, we had a video chat. There was a group video chat on Instagram, and I joined it. We were all talking. And then once everybody jumped, jumped off the call, me and Milton sat there for about 15 or 20 minutes just chatting it up. And we were talking about, you know, his relationship with Lydia his uh, thoughts on the wedding, you know, conversations that he was having with production, some, you know, off screen drama that him and Lydia were going through. So when I texted him the day on the wedding, he made it seem like it was just out of the blue. And it wasn't there was context to it. And then he said, Hey, Uche keeps on texting and reaching out and I never respond. That also wasn't true. I sent him one text the day on the wedding and I never contacted him again for a year and a half. So I felt like he was emboldened to, you know, tell these lies because I didn't show up, but he would have never said that to my face.